Chickasha's community. Chickasha is going into your favorite drug store, your favorite department store, and seeing your neighbor. It's where everybody knows your name. It's a place that should remind you of home. You go into a restaurant and you see people you know, it's always a, a handshake and a hi, how are you? And the people are, are willing to help you, greet you with a smile. It's that type of environment that you really can't beat. I tried to move to a larger city one time for seven months. I moved right back because it was not home. I'm Jim Cowan, Economic Development Director for Chickasha. I try to help grow our local economy. That could mean bringing in new business, bringing in new jobs. But it also means helping our local businesses expand. Back a year ago during the pandemic, helping them stay alive. When you walk into some of these buildings in downtown and you look around, it's authentic. Some of these buildings are 1905, 1910, and as we continue to revitalize them, all of that early spirit of the pioneers that said, hey, we're gonna make this a go, it starts coming out in today's world. And it's a lot easier in local businesses when they have a community partner like First National Bank. Legendary Bicycles, under construction right now, they got a grant through the EDC in the city of Chickasha that matches the money that they're investing. First National worked with Cody White, the owner, and said, hey, we're gonna work with you on this and make this happen. They basically made it easy for him to fulfill his dream. Raising a family in Chickasha, it's very more of a rural and a little bit sheltered from an urban type of environment. There's more of a sense of community. My name is Cody White, and we're here at 320 West Chickasha Avenue. I own the building and we're about to create a bicycle shop. You know, when I first started talking about it, people didn't even believe me. But the more I talked about it, the more it seemed doable. The process was remarkably easy. It's one of the great things about having a relationship with a bank like First National. I talked to the mayor and Jim Cowan, the economic development director, and they were on board, so they really liked the idea. So the Economic Development Authority had a grant that would fund a third of the project up to $20 a square foot. When I went to the bank, they knew that I owned the building outright, so they were willing to work with me and, and loan me 100% of the financing with the understanding that the grant money would come back on it. There are a lot of places to get money, but whenever you have a relationship and you can walk into that bank and know that you're going to be able to get the money that you need within reason for whatever project that you're wanting to do, really. I mean, that's a great feeling. Well, I'm Reagan Elkins. I own a business called Intellego Media here in town. We do commercials, documentaries, we'll help on movies, you name it, we typically do it if it involves film and video. Growing up, I'd always made just stupid videos with my brothers. I had an older brother and a younger brother, and we'd always make really dumb videos, and I ate it up, man. One year, when I was about 17 years old, we got a letter in the mail or a phone call, and it was First National Bank was putting on a video competition to encourage people to save their money. And so we, we made this video, and uh, to our surprise, it won the regional competition. Then it won the national, and we won you know, a few thousand dollars, and I was sent to Washington, D.C. And it was that moment, that was kind of the turning point, and I was like, I wonder if I could do this for a living. So we started doing commercials for uh, local businesses, um, documentaries. Slowly we started to see more and more uh, feature films, and I started getting hooked up with the feature uh, film side of things as well. Basically it went from a stupid music video about saving your money to now we're making you know, feature films in Chickasha, Oklahoma, which is awesome. And I can attribute a lot of that to First National Bank. I'm John Gorton. I'm President and CEO of First National Bank in Chickasha, Oklahoma. We're a community-oriented bank. We are an ESOP-owned bank. All of our bankers here are co-owners. We have an expectation that as owners, we act like owners. Part of our mission statement is to the success of our communities and our customers. We aspire to that every day. Part of being a leader in the community is being involved in civic groups and charitable groups. And I've lived my career doing that. Encouraging other bankers to do it, I think it's just the right thing to do. We started a program in conjunction with the Rotarians, recognizing perfect attendance in schools. 
we went through our records over the past three years, we've issued 1,200 certificates in Chickasha schools for perfect attendance. And we've awarded nearly 100 bicycles to those that achieve perfect attendance. This has been a neat project and it's moved the needle as we've talked to the principals of our elementary schools of keeping those children in class learning. I would say a really important project would be the bank support and the community support of the Gray Memorial Hospital. In a small community, it's dire if their hospitals close. Those communities are devastated and it pretty much is the death knell for those communities. Without health care, you don't recruit business, you don't recruit services, governmental services dry up, pharmacies go away. If you don't have medical services, people don't want to live in your community. My name is Kane Spellman, I'm the hospital CEO here at Grady Memorial Hospital in Chickasha, Oklahoma. When I got to the facility, the hospital board, they knew that we had to replace a pretty old facility. It was already 58 years young. The state of Oklahoma decided in their wisdom that they want us to replace our surgery department. Surgery is one of the most expensive departments in a hospital. So the cost to do that was more than we had. We were facing an existential threat. We were gonna close. What we ended up coming up with is a long-term strategy of how to kind of limp through this period went to our community to get a sales tax to pass to help us fund a building a new construction. I approached all the banks in town saying, you know, we need some help on you guys looking at doing a private placement loan. First National Bank was the only lead bank that came to our rescue recognizing that our hospital was vital to the future of the community and they created a consortium of something like 23 other banks, all contributing, you know, half a million, one million dollars each to fund the project once the sales tax passed. First National Bank actually came through. John Gordon told me, he said, Keen, you guys will have better days in the future and we're willing to bet on you. It always makes you feel good to see the community succeed. It aligns with our mission statement. I've seen in my career communities that did not have strong bankers and those communities were not successful. A big part is a bank that's willing to lend. We're there to support them, to provide what they need so they can continue. My name is Kelly Wilkerson. I'm Brad Wilkerson and we own the Chicken Express store here in Chickasha. We also have one in Duncan and Lawton, Oklahoma as well. It's been a great community for us to get involved in and if you just put a little bit of effort in the, this community and it comes back tenfold. It's been fun. It's been a good ride. Chickasha, when we met them, they never let go of us. Everybody just grabbed onto us from the bank to the church to the community to the chamber and so it was like this felt like home. When we first moved to town, we were just asking for references. Where do we live? What pest control agency do we use? And one of the questions we asked was, where is the bank that seems to embrace the community? And First National Bank was the top bank that people always recommended. They really embraced us. We sat down with the uh, CEO. By the time we got done talking to him, we felt like we knew him. We can call him to this day on a cell phone if we needed to. You just don't always find banks that have that kind of drive and desire to make sure their customers are taken care of. They check on us, they do business with us, they just come by and get tea. It feels nice that you know they, they want us to be successful. It feels like that for sure. We're so proud to receive this Community Leader Award and I think that it recognizes all the ways that First National Bank is contributing in all of our communities. We've renovated the Chickasha Hotel into a low-income housing unit. We're seeing retail and restaurants come into our downtown. There's no question in my mind that a vibrant downtown contributes to the character of the entire city. The success of the bank is inextricably tied to the success of our communities. Hi, my name is Kerry Dehart. I'm the CEO of CMS Willowbrook. I'm Weston Dehart, president of CMS Willowbrook in Chickasha, Oklahoma. We've done quite a few construction projects for First National. We trust them and they trust us and we work good together. First National has always been super involved in all types of community activities. Everything from the county fair to the livestock shows. They don't just write a check, they get very involved in the leadership behind the why and, and the programs and what's going to make our communities better. 
I'm Brad Atkins. I'm Tina Atkins. We are husband and wife as well as business partners. This is Chapel Acres, one of our land developments where we build some homes. It's a 38 lot community in Goldsby, Oklahoma. We've been banking with First National Bank for at least six years. We went to them for our developments. They were one of the first banks to really believe in what we were doing. Yeah, our relationship with the bank's really important in knowing that if we decide to buy a piece of property out of nowhere that they're going to back us up and fund it. We're able to just kind of send a text or call if it's over the weekend and say, hey, are we within our limits? Can you kind of give us an idea if we're good to go on this? Sometimes, you know, if we find a piece of land that could be for sale, that comes up instantly. Those opportunities may be a very short window. So you have to have a bank that trusts you, that understands what we're doing. I actually just took a position as a director at First National Bank. And so I got to attend my first meeting a few weeks ago. It was very eye-opening to see how much they really do care about people. If somebody's account is going to be charged off or if somebody's loan is starting to go into default, that they really try to figure out how can we help that person. Winning the Community Leader Award means a great deal to us. Partnering with Federal Home Loan Bank is crucial in helping us to meet the needs of our customers and communities. One of our largest customer bases is our municipalities, our cities, towns, school districts, fire districts. There are times of the year with bond issues that cause large swings and balances, and having the daily letters of credit and advances that are available to us to be able to meet their needs and not have to worry about the impact that that's gonna have on our other customers is really, really helpful for us. I'm Blake Elliott with Stanley Systems and we're in Chickasha, Oklahoma. We sell anything from copiers to printers, computer systems, really anything that you would need in terms of office technology. First National Bank has always been a great partner to Stanley Systems. I remember back when we got our first state contract, First National Bank was willing to look at that a little differently than a couple of other banks that we were working with. They were able to help us finance that, which actually enabled us to grow our business. Having a banking partner like that that's willing to look at things a little bit differently has been a huge value to helping the success of Stanley Systems. One of my first interactions with First National Bank was when I was trying to get some people together to help out with the Festival of Light. I can email anyone at the bank and they would show up 10 or 15 people on a Friday and just work like dogs all day long. Anyone can donate money almost, but it's hard to donate time. My name is Lanier Lee. I'm Vice President, Manager, and Lender at the Southwest Oklahoma City location. I've been here about three years now. Been in banking about 15. First National is just a community-based organization that really cares about their people. Um, before I came here, we talked about community, we talked about giving back and everything, but no institution that I've worked for or even known has given back to the community as much as First National has. My name's Tabor LeBlanc and I'm the owner of Homes by Tabor. We build houses from 1,500 square feet up to 3,500 square feet on our own lots and on our own land. We're the biggest builder in Oklahoma. First National Bank, I've been with them for 15 years. They've really helped us grow along the way from construction loans to development loans and thinking outside the box. First National Bank and my banker David have been there all along the way for us to help us grow. For them to win this award is not surprising to me at all. They're about hometown values and supporting their community. That's why I like to work with people like First National Bank. My name is Bill Frick. I'm Chief Executive Officer and Executive Vice President here at First National Bank and Trust Company in Chickasha. As far as working with the Federal Home Loan Bank on the mortgage side, they provide other products that we have taken advantage of in the past, such as first-time home buyers grants, various different things that help young people or people that have never owned a home before be able to get into a home. I really enjoy working for a home loan bank. Keeping those mortgages here and servicing them here locally has been a real benefit uh, to our customers. The advanced program uh, I've used for years and years, it's just been a solid product uh, and, and really helpful for us. To be acknowledged for the Federal Home Loan Bank Community Award, it validates what we do here. It really does. You know, everybody can talk about being a community bank. They can talk about being in the community. But to actually get acknowledged for what you're doing shows that, hey, you are making a difference. And so it makes me feel really good here.